Hello everybody. Today we'll talk of diagnosis of dental caries. Those of you who've come to this channel for the first time, there are three other lectures on caries that I've got covered so far. You can check them out too. So coming to this one, what is diagnosis? Very simply putting, it is discovering what the problem is. Now we gather facts from the patient's history, clinical and radiographic examination. We can use diagnostic aids. We sum it all up. We analyze it and evaluate it to arrive at a logical diagnosis of the existing problem. This is what diagnosis is. So we define diagnosis can be adequately described as the determination and the judgment of variations from the normal. The first step is recording the chief complaint of the patient. This is the first indication towards the diagnosis. For example, a patient comes to you. He says, I have a problem with my tooth. It is discolored. Or I'm having hot and cold sensations to the tooth when I eat my food. Or I'm having pain. Now, all these three complaints, they indicate that the tooth might be involved in some kind of caries process. So it is very important that you carefully note down the chief complaint and then you proceed further. After recording the chief complaint and taking the patient history, we come to the clinical examination. The different steps in clinical examination, we'll do one by one in detail. The first one is the visual examination. Visual examination is that when you just look at the concerned area. So since we are only looking at the area, it better be dry and well illuminated or a bright area. Then it involves observing the visual changes in the tooth color or a texture. Now what are the visual indications of caries? They include chalkiness around the surrounding pit and fissure. It means that the pit and fissure which is involved, it may have a whitish area around it or appearance of surface roughness. The area appears to be rough. It is not smooth and glossy. Now, in case there is a small initial lesion known as incipient caries, it will appear as a white spot on the tooth surface. Now, and if it gets covered by saliva, the spot disappears. And if you dry it, it reappears. So it gives an indication that it's an initial caries lesion. Then you may see brown gray discolorations like here and they are radiating out from the pit and fissure in this tooth you can see it in this tooth now this now when you look at these teeth you can see that they appear to be involved with caries then but you have to differentiate these discolorations from enamel hypoplasia now these teeth they show enamel hypocalcifications here in this surface here so we have to know the color difference and the difference in the texture to know whether it is carious or an enamel hypocalcification. Then it may appear, when you look, it may appear as a frank cavitation, like it's an open frank cavitation. You know it appears to be an arrested carious lesion. Or you can see a brown spot like this. This is a brown spot here. Now this brown spot, it gives a false impression of caries. And it may be present on the proximal surface either at the contact or gingival to the contact. Now, this is the brown spot. Then, secondary caries may be present in a fractured restoration. Now, I hope you can see this is a fracture line here, although it is dark, it's a fracture line here, and the surface around it, when you look at it, it appears. It is darkish in color and gives an impression that there might be secondary caries here. Similarly, this is a fractured restoration. This white color is a restoration and this is that fractured area. And this dark area, it gives an impression that it can be cariously involved. It might be having secondary caries. Tactile sensation. Now, tactile means to touch. So, tactile examination requires a dental explorer. Then Explorer, we all know it has a sharp pointed tip which is flexible. This is used to explore the pits and fissures. The tooth surface is checked for a catch when the Explorer is passed on it. And the tactile indication of caries includes roughness on the tooth surface when you pass it on it or apparent softening of the base of pit and fissure. Now you can see it pictorially here. See the Explorer is 
the sharp pointed surface of the explorer is passed over the occlusal surface of the tooth. Now in case we feel any surface roughness or we feel that there is softening of the base of a pit and fissure, that means there is that area is involved with caries. Now this was the occlusal surface. Uh, similarly, the explorer is passed in the proximal surface also right like here. And again, in case there is any catch in this surface, it will indicate there is caries or there is roughness when you pass the explorer. Again, it will be an indication of caries. Transillumination. It requires a light source. Now, this light source can be a mirror whose reflected light is placed on the lingual surface of the tooth. Now, fiber optic transillumination techniques can also be used. Now, what happens in this technique? Basically, if you look at the photograph, you can see the light source is placed on the lingual side of the tooth and it is directed through the tooth. Now, in case on viewing it, you see that a dark appearance like this, a dark shadow is present like this, it would give an indication of caries. And this is especially useful for caries lesion on the proximal surfaces of anterior or posterior teeth. Then coming to tooth separation. Now tooth separation requires the use of wedges or mechanical separators. Now you physically separate the teeth. Once the separation of adjacent teeth is achieved, caries can be checked visually or by gentle probing. It is, an it is indicated in detecting initial caries lesions in the proximal areas. You know, when you have doubt whether the caries is present or not. Now you can see it here. This is an Eliot separator. Now this is a tightening screw. You tighten this screw, what will happen? Now these are the wedged projections present in the proximal area of the tooth. When you tighten the screw, these two wedge projections, they move inwards and they will separate these two teeth. And then we can mechanic physically see whether the area, proximal area is dark or not, whether there is caries involvement there or not. Using dental floss for the detection of caries, we know dental floss is a thin thread that is made to pass through the proximal surfaces of the teeth. I have drawn two teeth out there. If we take a dental floss and pass it through the contact area, we move it downwards like this. Now when we pull it up, we observe that the floss, it has frayed. That means it has torn slightly. It would indicate that there is caries present in the proximal area. Now supposing the teeth was restored like this, a restoration was present. And when we pull the floss up, the floss frayed or it was torn, then it would indicate that there is an overhanging restoration present there. Coming to radiography. Now radiographs, we know they form an essential diagnostic tool in dentistry. Now signs and symptoms of most oral conditions require the use of radiographs to confirm their presence and determine their extent before planning treatment. And the radiographs commonly used in operative dentistry are periapical radiograph, bite wing, occlusal radiograph, and panoramic radiograph. Let's have a look at these. The periapical radiographs are used to assess the changes in the periapical periodontium, that is periodontal membrane supporting bone and the roots. Now you look at this radiograph and in this you check out this particular tooth. You see there is radiodescency present in the proximal area indicating proximal caries. Now this radiolucency is approaching the radiolucency present here. Now this radiolucency is the pulp space or the root canal. So, so this radiograph indicates that these particular caries have approached the pulp. So quite possible there is endodontic involvement of the tooth. Also you can see bone loss present in the interdental areas and in the furcation area. Bite wings are used for diagnosing interproximal caries immediately below the contact area. Now it results in a radiolucent area on the radiograph which otherwise is not obvious. You can see it in the x-ray. This is a radiolucent area. It is an interproximal contact area. Now you can see it is present. It's a distal side of a second molar. Clinically, it is not detectable. It's only through this bite wing radiograph that you can detect this type of caries. 
panoramic x-ray it is also called bird's eye view or orthopantograph it gives the comprehensive view of both upper and the lower jaw with all the teeth its supporting structures and tmj in one radiograph now you look at the x-ray here this is the lower border of the mandible here all these are the mandibular teeth then these are the maxillary teeth this is the maxillary sinus these two here you can see an impacted third molar and if you come here this is the coronoid process of the mandible this is the condylar process of the mandible now all these structures we can view in one radiograph the occlusal radiograph is used to take the occlusal view of the entire arc in one x-ray the film is placed on the occlusal plane of the teeth it gives the information of the size of the lesion and its position buccally or lingually now if you look at the x-ray it is a occlusal view of the maxillary arc you can see all the maxillary teeth this is the entire palatal area you can see this now supposing there was a lesion present here and another lesion say present here now in this one x-ray we can see the position of the two lesions their sizes and we can compare it also so far i had described the traditional methods of caries diagnosis now coming to the recent advances in caries diagnosis digital radiographs you see digital imaging has revolutionized radiology and dentistry is seeing a steady increase in the use of these technologies now the best advantages are that digital imaging systems they require less radiation for exposure than the traditional films and the digital imaging systems they eliminate chemical processing and the hazardous waste in the form of processing chemicals and lead foils are eliminated with these systems also images can be electronically transmitted without any alteration of the original image quality and disadvantages the initial expense of setting up the system is quite high and the equipment is delicate and susceptible to rough handling another system is diagnodent you see diagnodent was first introduced in 1998 to aid in diagnosis of occlusal caries in addition to a visual and radiographic aids now this system it uses infrared laser fluorescence of 655 nanometer for the detection of occlusal and smooth surface caries in this system when the instrument is used on the caries tooth structure you can see there is fluorescence and the degree of caries detects the amount of fluorescence that occurs and the reading is shown on the display there is high reading in case there is caries present in case there is healthy tooth structure then it shows little or no fluorescence and there is very low scale reading on the display now this diagnodent pen is an advancement in the diagnodent technology it's a perfect tool to detect fissure and smooth caries accurately especially when we cannot detect them radiographically or clinically electrical conductance measurements now based on the difference in electrical conductance between the sound and the caries tooth structure two instruments were developed the vanguard electronic caries detector and caries meter now other systems which are available include digital imaging fiber optic transillumination digital subtraction radiography quantitative light and laser induced fluorescence ultrasound caries detector infrared fluorescence ultraviolet illumination endoscope or videoscope tuned aperture computed tomography or ct cone beam computed tomography cbct optical coherence tomography tetrahertz imaging multiple photon imaging now these are the various other tools that can be used for the detection of caries if you found this video useful do like it comment on it share it with your friends and do subscribe to this channel to receive the latest uploads